So we've got this Hessian. I just moved this board up and moved the other board down. We have this Hessian defined this way. And I would like to now say, if you're inside in a coordinate chart, or just in a chart, right? In a chart where you have your DF, um, your DY matrix, which has two columns, X1, or M columns actually, XM. So these are the, and then you remember that TPM, or TPM is the span. Then all you need to know to figure out the Hessian is to write this here as a, um, um, what it would do to each XI, XJ combination. So you write Hessian of H, IJ is defined to be Hessian of H, just like it was with GIJ, Hessian of H, XI, XJ. For these special vectors that come from the columns, the coordinate chart system. And so this Hessian of HIJ is Hessian of H, XI, XJ. So let's copy it over using this G here. It is G of gradient, um, covariant derivative in the direction XI of grad H, comma, and then the W is XJ. So that's our IJ components of the Hessian IJ, right? So if you have these IJ components, now let's consider what our question was. Again, the theorem we're trying to prove, all right? In the theorem we're trying to prove, the question is, let's just go back to the theorem again. I'll put the theorem up high. We have this theorem. And when we prove this theorem, after we define the Hessian, we have to worry about the eigenvalues of the Hessian. So last time we did all this work before where we found, I'm putting up my old work down there. So those are the eigenvalues and studying the eigenvalues of the Hessian, right? So we want to do something similar. We would also like to study the eigenvalues of our Hessian matrix. So we need to think about what that means. What are the eigenvalues of our Hessian? So what we have here is our Hessian here, and I want to talk about its eigenvalues. The eigenvalues of this matrix, it's an M by M, it's M by M, I'll say M by M matrix. Our lambda 1 up to lambda M. Now, you can actually prove that this is a symmetric matrix. We won't do that right away, but it is going to actually have a complete set of eigenvalues. And each of these eigenvalues will have eigenvectors with eigenvectors. And I'm going to not use V for the eigenvectors right now. I'm just going to call them A1 up to AM in R. And these, these eigenvectors are going to depend on the chart. You'll see what I mean in a minute, okay? But what we're doing is we're using this H, Hessian of H, I, J, and it's going to depend on the chart, this, this formation of this as a matrix. And if we use that matrix, this Hessian H matrix, I'm going to call it Hessian H matrix, depends on the chart. So this matrix times vector vector a i equals lambda i a i. All right? If we have it that way, then what does that tell us about saddle points and things like that around about the original um, Hessian, which is not a matrix? It's so fun, we have to understand Hessian of H V V. All right? So this is different. This is Hessian of H and as a matrix. AI equal lambda I AI. So in order to understand this better, let us write each AI is equal to AI1, AI2, up to AIM. Okay, so when we write it that way, then we have we can compare now what does this have to do with this original hash and H as a metric tensor? Okay. Well, let's look at this. 
What does it mean to say this sky ij sum i i equals lambda i a i is going to say that essentially I need to define a new um, vector. Let me define a vector i is going to equal a i1 r chart x1 plus dot 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 plus a i m r chart x m. This is effectively what this real vector is referring to. It's talking about a vector of this guy. This is an RM. And this one is in the tangent space. So if you want to look at this, then you say, what is hash and h of this vi vi? So we want to say, ask that question. What is hash and h of this vi vi? So in order to do that, I'm going to continue down to the lower board. We still need to remember what our hash and h is, so I keep that at the top there. So when we look at this, I want to look at hash and h of one of these vi's with himself. Hash and h vi vi is going to equal, well, we should write it each with a sum. So that will equal, I'm going to now write this, this sum out. So this will be hash and h of a i 1 x 1 plus dot 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 plus a i m x m comma a i 1 x 1 plus dot 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 plus a i m x m. Okay, so the reason we switch this hash and matrix is just a matrix of ij real numbers. And so the solutions to this eigenvector eigenvalue solution set will be eigenvectors in Rm, but we, we, what we need to understand are vectors sitting in TPM. So we create a vector in TPM by taking these coefficients and summing them over the x's of the chart. Okay, So these basis vectors of the chart. Now I want to understand what hash of h vi vi is, where this i, this is this vi. So I write hash of h of this sum. But remember that when you do these sums, so this is, if I write it out with sum notation, is hash and h sum over j equal 1 to m of a i j x j comma sum. And I can't use j a second time, so I need a new letter, k equal 1 to m, a, i, k, x, k. And then we'll remember that the Hessian is actually linear. And since the Hessian is linear, that means I can take the sums and the coefficients out. So when I take the sums and the coefficients out, I get Hessian of h. Sorry, I'm going to take the sums and the coefficients out. So I'm going to get sum j equal 1 to m. A i j sum k equal 1 to m a i k of hash and h x j x k. Now we've brought it back around to hash and h x j x k. That was the Hessian matrix right here. So this is equal to, if you look at this carefully and you can work it out, this is equal to the Hessian matrix times the A's of I dotted with AI. So you can check this for classwork, but that's exactly what this is. I want to stop right here for a second because I don't want the video to get on too long and I want you to be able to check this.